Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. How are you? You already know what this video is about. I'm not even gonna explain myself. But for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys finally my eyeshadow palette declutter video. This is way, way, way overdue, let me tell you. Um, you guys absolutely love my highlighter declutter video. So to date, I've done my highlighter declutter video, my blush declutter video, uh, bronzer declutter video, and foundation declutter video. I have yet to do my lip products. That will be like a whole separate thing on its own. I don't even know, honestly. But yes, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my eyeshadow palette declutter. I do this once a year. If you love declutter videos and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you guys to be a part of this. I'll leave my uh, declutter playlist down below in the description box if you guys want to binge watch any other videos. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's get started. If you're new here, my style of declutter videos is no games being played style. Like That's my motto. Um, if I use it, keep. If I don't, I mean, if it, also, it has cute packaging, sometimes I'll keep, sometimes I won't. Well, it really will depend, but I'm in that zone. I'm in that mood of like, you know? If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these eyeshadow palettes, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right over here, and I'll speak to you guys on my stories on Instagram to let you guys know what um, how it's going to work pretty much. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Ugh, let's do this. Okay, so here is where I keep my makeup. If you guys saw my other declutter videos, you already know. I basically have three drawers of eyeshadow palettes. Here's drawer number one, fully, fully stuffed, let me tell you. Then we have drawer number two, which is this one right over here. Also pretty stuffed. We got a lot going on. Not really organized. And then we have drawer number three. Also pretty, pretty full. Up here in this section, I actually have more palettes. So some of the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes and some from Ofra, which I'm not going to declutter, but we might go over that soon. And then on my shelves here as well, I also have some palettes to go through, which again, also with these, I'm probably not going to get rid of them because if they're um, displayed, they're like pretty much favorites of mine, but we're still gonna go through some, a few just to see maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so starting off with drawer number one, here is what we're working with. First up, I have this palette here by Butter London. I think that we got this in BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Um, it does include six shades. They were pretty nice to work with. I don't tend to use it too much these days, so I'm gonna declutter. Next up, we have the Alien palette here by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. We basically get a lot of cooler tone gray and brown type of shades. I think I use this only once. To be honest with you, definitely not my favorite color story at all. It's hard for me to come up with looks with this one. And then also the packaging is probably like my least favorite thing ever, ever, ever. Declutter. Next, I have this palette here by Tarte. This is the Double Duty beauty palette it's a nice neutral palette that basically includes matte and metallics i own a decent amount of these kind of shades already um from like another palette so i'm gonna declutter it smells good though i then have this right here from nabla how beautiful this is still fairly new to me i think it would be beautiful topped over any eyeshadow to kind of amp up your look so i'm gonna keep this the, i then have the huda beauty amethyst obsession palette Here's what this baby looks like on the inside. If you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I really don't love the nine pan palettes from Huda. I find that the quality is so different than her bigger, bigger pan palettes. Um, I've decluttered a few of these little ones in the past. And I have to say from the little ones that I've owned, I think the purple one, the amethyst one, this one is probably the best. So ironically, I'm actually going to keep this because I actually think it performs so much nicer than the other palettes. Still not as good as her bigger palettes, but I like the looks that I come up with when I use this. So I'm going to keep it. Next, we have the Ace Beaut Scarlet Dusk palette here. This palette is seriously, like, I have no words. I would say the quality is just just pretty bad. I, I don't like how it looks on the eyes. It doesn't perform well. I'm not into it. Declutter. Next up, we have the Natural Matte palette here from Too Faced. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I don't find that I reach for it way too much, even though the quality is pretty nice. Um, I'm just, I think I'm going to say goodbye. I then have this palette here by Odin's Eye. The color story is pretty unique to my collection. I also really like how um, smooth these shadows are. I want to play around with this a little bit more, so I'm going to keep it because it's still fairly new to my collection. Um, next, we have the Millennial Pinks palette here by um, Melt Cosmetics. It always reminds me of that show with uh, Hilary Duff, Younger. I love that show. It's so good. This palette is really beautiful. The color story is so right up my alley. I do have a little bit of a hard time creating looks with this because these are so pigmented. And then also between these shades and these shades, there isn't so much contrast. But I'm still going to go ahead and keep it. I want to play around with it a little bit more also i think i want to collect all female palettes so i kind of need to have this in my life but yeah i think it's good i, I just have to kind of like perfect my game with this one so keeping next i have the sugar rush palette here this is the sister brand to tarte this is actually very pretty it's a great just go-to day-to-day palette we get matte and metallics in here even though it is a good one there are other neutral palettes that i use more than this one so i think i'm going to say goodbye next we have the dream big palette here from tarte as well 
I would say this is one that I wasn't 100% crazy about. We only get, what, two matte shades and everything else is like a glitter um, satin finish. The color story is okay for me. I'm gonna say goodbye. Next, we have the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Palette. Ugh, I'm thinking to myself, these colors are so beautiful, but I know that I, it's just, it's hard for me to create looks with this. I'm thinking. I know that I have a palette from ColourPop. By the way, the ColourPop collection is not going to be decluttered in this video. I'm going to do a separate video on those um, goodies. But uh, I think I'm going to give this another chance. I think I'm going to keep this one because I'm thinking like I want to do a red look and I love this color. This color is nice. I'll use it a few more times if I feel like I'm just not into it, then I'll declutter, but I'm going to keep for now. Next up, I have the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit, the Wands palette. I think that this palette is really pretty. I like that there's a nice selection of different colors in here. It's not your typical palette. You know what I'm saying? We get also matte metallics as well as satins in here. I really just don't find that I reach for it way too much. Even though I adore Emily, I think she's so down to earth and very, very sweet. I've been watching her for a while now. Um... I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter to someone who might get more use out of this one. Next up, I have the iHeart Revolution Sweet and Tasty palette. The packaging is so cute. Unfortunately, this palette fell really short for me. I personally think that it really, really sucks. The mattes were very powdery and chalky, and the metallics just barely stayed on the eye. Um, I'm going to declutter. Next up, I have the Violet Voss Essentials palette here. So in here, we basically get a bunch of... Colorful shades with some neutrals as well. I don't gravitate towards this palette. It doesn't speak to me. It doesn't inspire me. So I'm going to say goodbye. Next, we have this cutie right here from Pixie. I love Pixie, let me tell you. I didn't use this as much as I would like, so I definitely want to keep it in my collection. I feel like just like the Nabla little quad with this, you can kind of just dot it on the eye for that amped up like eyeshadow type of look, you know, keeping. Next up, I have the pizza palette here from Foodie Cosmetics. I think that the concept of this is really cute. I love the whole pizza vibe, everything about it, but these shades really just don't scream to me. I'm not fully obsessed with the quality, and I'm not really that into it, to be honest, so goodbye. Next up, we have the Blue Blood palette here from Jeffree Star. Here's what this palette looks like on the inside. I think that this palette has a nice amount of matte and metallics, and you can really create... A few pretty cool bluish looks. We also have some neutrals as well to go with the blues. Um, it's hard for me because I love the quality so much. But I also think to myself, I have the ColourPop Blue Palette. I have the e.l.f. little quad that I love. I think I got a decent amount of use out of this one that I feel like, you know what? I'm at a point where I don't mind not having it in my life, so declutter. Next, we have the Venice Fling Palette here by Bailey Sarian. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I think it's beautiful. A lot of you guys did tell me that you do like Bailey. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it to maybe one of you guys who would want to have this in your life. Because I know that it was very limited. So I'm going to declutter. Next up, I have the Persona Identity 2 palette here. This is beautiful. I've used it quite a few times. You can get tons of looks out of this. Um, we get nice neutrals and pops of colors as well. I love that there's a black and a deep brown. Great transition shades. I kind of miss this. I haven't used it in a hot minute. But now that I'll have less palettes, I feel like I'll be able to really see what I have and use and love everything. So I'm going to keep this. I love this baby. I then have some of the I Love palettes here from the Sephora brand. I think I have six in total. Here we have three. I think I, I, think I only used a black shade in here once. There's where we're at for this one. Um, I think I'm going to say goodbye because there are other colors shades and other palettes that I use more than this so obviously um so goodbye to this this one right here is really beautiful it's the jewel tone palette with this one also I haven't used it way too much although I think it's pretty unique and pretty cool to my collection um I think I'm gonna say goodbye I think I have some color pop palettes that have these kind of tones I mean I haven't used this in at least a year so there's my answer this right here is the light cool tone palette. Also with this one, I haven't used it as much as I would like. And there are other cool tone palettes that recently entered my life that I prefer over this one. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye. Next up, we have the Tartlet Toasted palette here. I feel like this used to be so popular. I mean, it will forever, I feel like, be one of my favorites. I really love this. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it and try to use it as much as I could. I feel like it's a great palette to use with others and just amazing to use on its own. So I'm going to keep this one. Next up, we have this beautiful palette here. It's the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. This is just so gorgeous. I love the metallics in here. They're so like foil-like and just so pretty on the eyes. And the mattes also blend out beautifully. The color story is right up my alley and just 
definitely one of my favorites in my collection i have to say i did recently pick up the naughty nudes palette cannot wait to review that but yeah i'm gonna keep this baby next we have the essential eye palette here from jouet I think this is nice, nothing too revolutionary. I have a bunch of these shades in my collection already and I really don't gravitate towards this one, so I'm gonna declutter. I then have the Sephora Pro Pigment Palette here. This is the Warms. I actually really enjoy this for a very long time. You get pretty much every shade you would need to, um, to build up a transition shade and then a bunch of shades that you could use for the lids. Um, because I'm thinking I have the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette as well as what, like the Tarte, which pretty much have somewhat of the same shades i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this it's also really heavy and pretty bulky so i think i'm gonna say goodbye next up i have some palettes here from essence this right here is the earth palette i love that essence created these palettes and i love that they had like a whole theme with them but unfortunately this felt like a little bit too short for me i love their mascaras liners uh, blushes bronzers lip products so so much from them but this one right here was just not it for me so i'm gonna declutter it i'll see if my cousin maybe wants it maybe she'll like the color story Hodea, let me know if you want this <laughs> Next up, I have the Fire Palette, and this one right here pretty much has the warmer tone shades. This right here, I'm going to declutter as well. And then Air, I love the packaging of this. So pretty. Here is what Air looks like. This one right here has more of like those um, pastel kind of colors. Declutter. Even though I am a massive Pac-Man fan, I think I'm going to say goodbye to this as well by Wet n Wild. I did purchase this for the collector in me, and obviously, I'm you know, obsessed with Pac-Man. I don't know if that's obvious, but yeah, I love Pac-Man. And I'll forever play it, but... Um, I just don't feel like I need to have this in my life to justify the fact that I love Pac-Man. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to say goodbye. Then we have this palette right here by the Ulta Beauty brand. It's a palette that you can't purchase on its own. It came like with a kit. I think that these shades actually look really pretty on the eyes and they're super smooth and creamy. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because it's not one that you could just purchase, but I'm very impressed. Let me tell you. Next up, we have the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette here. This was actually a gift from one of my subscribers, Izzy. She's so cute. We basically get two rows of matte shades and then one row of like metallics. This is so nice. I love the quality. I love the looks I come up with when I like use this palette. I feel like there's a little bit of oil kind of seeping through there with this shade. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this even though it was limited edition but because it was a gift I still want to hold on to it. Next I have the Jawbreaker palette here also by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. For me, this was a palette that I use in conjunction with a lot of other palettes. I felt like it was a great um, companion palette. Nice to use on its own as well. It does have pretty much all of the colors of the rainbow, matte and metallics in here. I'm just thinking and thinking and thinking. I think I'm going to keep the mini jawbreaker because I love that a ton. But I think I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to this one. Next up, I have the Nabla Secret palette here. I am starting to get into the Nabla brand, so I have like that quad of glitters and then I have this palette. I definitely want to see what else they have to offer. But yes, I really love the quality of this palette. I've used it quite a few times and came up with really fun looks. I think that the color story is pretty unique. Um, we get mattes and metallics and they're very easy to work with, so I'm going to keep this baby. Next up, I have the Marvelous Mobs palette here by Dose of Colors. As much as you guys love me in these kind of shades, I just feel like I look so weird with these kind of colors. I just cannot get down with how I look with these tones. I don't know. I mean, there are other like mauve tone purpley shades that I like how I look in. But with when I use this palette, I really don't feel confident. So I love the formula. It's nice and soft. I might look into the other like five pan palettes that Dose of Colors has. But for this one, I'm, I'm just going to say goodbye. I have another one of the I Love palettes here from the Sephora brand. This is the Medium Cool palette. And here's what this one looks like. I really like this one, actually. It's stunning for like a day-to-day -day basis. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Next, I have the Mirage palette here by Profusion. I really haven't used this palette a ton, to be honest with you. I feel like it has a lot of potential. Um, there are great transition shades, great lit shades in here, and some glittery shades, which I don't know how much of a fan of I will be. But even though this is pretty big and I don't know how much I'll actually gravitate towards it, I still want to kind of give it a chance to see what it's about because it's a drugstore palette and if it works out well, then, you know, I would love to speak about it and let you guys know. So I think I'm going to go ahead and still keep it in my collection, play around with it to see if it's good or not, and then take it from there. So keep. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter the Just Peachy Mattes palette. I know, I know. It's really pretty and I, I just, I love the tones in here, but I do have the Tarte palette. And I do have a bunch of other like palettes like this with this color story. And then also, I don't know if this is being discontinued. 
it's possible it is, maybe it's not, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to say goodbye. I haven't used it in a pretty long time, and it's usually a palette that I have to only use with other palettes because I like to go in with mattes and metallics. So it's a palette that I do have to use in conjunction with other palettes, which isn't the biggest deal to do, but um, I just feel like at this point in my life, I'm not really gravitating towards it as much as I used to, so I'm going to say goodbye. Next up, I have the Alamar palette here. I love this. I haven't used it in a long time. I know I have to get my, my life together. That's my slogan for 2020. Get life together pronto. Thank you. Um, I know that the Alamar brand came out with a newer palette that should be sold on Target. I definitely want to check that out, but I think I might want to pick up most of the palettes in the line like i want to collect them at this point i'm thinking um so yeah i'm gonna keep this i love the tones in here we get four metallics and four mattes and i like it so I'm gonna, it's gonna stay in my collection next up we have two of the kaleidos palettes here these are the newer ones that they came out with i do have a review on this collection if you guys want to check it out but i do like these palettes it's not my ultimate favorite um I would say formula ever, but still very pretty on the eyes and it works out well. So I'm gonna keep this. And then I have this palette right here, which is more of like the purpley toned palette. Also very pretty, also not my favorite formula ever, but um, looks good on, so I'm gonna keep for now. And then the final palette that I have in this drawer is this one right here by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Blood Lust palette. I really think that this is gorgeous. I remember when I went to the Morphe store in New Jersey to pick it up. It was such a vibe. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. And if I find that I'm not using it by my next declutter, I might get rid of it. But I want to get a little bit more use out of this one because I spent so much on it. Okay, and I'm moving on to this drawer. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do this. First up, I have the Razzle Dazzle palette here by Too Faced. This smells so good, like raspberry tea, delicious. The quality is so nice, by the way. One of their best, I have to say, especially this shade is just gorgeous on the lids. Um, I know that we found this at TJ Maxx for some time. I purchased it from Ulta for the full price tag. I think it was limited edition or it is limited edition, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I would say the same story with this one. This is the pineapple palette from the same line. Um, here's what this one looks like. So we get golds and then brown shades, and this is like a shifting kind of shades shade. Also very nice quality, but I'm going to say goodbye. I never use this palette. It's, it's just going to be goodbye. Here's what the palette looks like on the inside. It really just doesn't speak to me, to be honest. So goodbye. Okay, I then have a bunch of palettes here from Alter Ego. I'm going to declutter these. I'll tell you guys, honestly, I don't gravitate towards these palettes. I know that they make dupes for Natasha Denona and Huda. And to be 100% honest with you, I'd rather use a Natasha or Huda palettes, especially... Like I said, the Huda Bigger palettes are amazing. Natasha's palettes, her formula is one of my favorites ever. And then also, I was in contact with um, the PR person from Ultra Ego. And I didn't really like how they spoke to me. So, no, nah, I'm not using you. Okay, I'm going to declutter. I know that kind of sounds like, okay, calm down. But I'm just kind of like, I'm not into it. Like, I'd rather use the Huda and, and um, Natasha. So, we have the Sahara palette right here, which is supposed to be a dupe for, I think, a Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to declutter. Here we have the Goddess palette. This was supposed to be a also dupe for a Natasha Denona palette, I think. I don't even remember which palette, but yeah, one of the Natasha palettes. And then we have the Daydream palette, which was supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette, which I decluttered last year. And I'm honestly, that was that's one palette that I'm so sorry that I decluttered. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I repurchased it. I'll have to tell you guys the story why in my Sephora haul, but I'm going to declutter this. That one is on the way. I've never done that, but biggest mistake of my life. In regards to makeup <laughs> anyway i'm gonna say goodbye to this next up i have the dominique cosmetics celestial thunder palette i think that this was a boxycharm exclusive i never use this declutter next i have the city mini palette here in blushed avenue very pretty actually i've had this for quite some time it always made it through my declutters i'm thinking at this point in my life though i love the elf bite size palettes i use those consistently so i think i'm just gonna declutter this one next up we have the supreme nudes palette here by artist couture I really enjoy this one. It's very, very pigmented. Um, I, I love very pigmented shadows because I rather go in with a lot than a little. I'm just like like, like that. I, I don't like to build up. It's like boom, bam, baby, right away or nothing. Um, so this palette does provide that. I love the tones. We do get mattes and metallics. I love how this looks on the eyes. I'm going to keep. Next up, I have one of the Milani palettes. I feel like this palette fell really short for me. I try to use it, use it as much as I could, but I never really loved how like the looks turned out. And for it being 20 bucks, I feel like it's so not worth it. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye. Next, I have this palette here from Chella. I think that we got this in Ipsy or BoxyCharm, one of those. We get two metallics and two mattes. I have a bunch of these kind of shades and this palette doesn't speak to me really, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye. I then have this palette here from itsy i don't even know how to pronounce it but it's basically more like an emptier palette um and then it came with four single shadows i'm gonna say goodbye this right here is from dominique cosmetics i love like the whole sweatery palette 
here's what it looks like on the inside it's kind of cute we basically get six matte shades mm, i don't know i want it but then i'm like it's okay goodbye Next up, I have the chocolate gold palette here from Too Faced. I was contemplating on decluttering this, not because I don't think it's a good palette, because I haven't reached for it in a very long time. There's so many other palettes that I enjoy more uh, at this point in my life. But I love the tones in here, and I remember it creating really pretty looks. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now and try to work it. If not, then I'll declutter it hopefully in the future. But we get four mattes and then metallics here. So the essential mattes that you would need. And then you just throw any of these on the lids. And I feel like you're pretty much good to go. So I'm going to keep. Plus it smells good. I then have these two little ones right here from um, Wet n Wild. These were limited edition. They were cute at the time. But I think I'm kind of over them. I'm going to declutter. I also have this palette here from Models Own. This was nice. It's a good quad. We only get one cream matte shade and then three metallics. Um, I'm going to declutter this one. We then have another Jouer palette here. Really, really, really was not vibing with this one. I do not like how these um, perform at all. For some reason, they just they weren't working out well. So declutter. This is one that I'm going to go ahead and keep. It's the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. It's actually pretty good, especially for being only 15 bucks. The mattes, I would say, are the hit in this palette. The metallics have a little bit of like a thicker feel. And like they like you'll have to kind of like blend because they have that thick feel. But... It's still not bad at all, and I've created multiple looks with this, and I'm usually pretty happy with how it looks on the eyes. I want to play around with it a little bit more, so I'm going to keep this. We then have two donuts here from Makeup Revolution. As cute as these are, I think I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye because the quality is just not there. I think I might pass it on to maybe my cousins who would probably love the whole vibe of this, um, or maybe my niece or something, but yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to the donuts. Next up, I have the Artist palette here from Koki Cosmetics. This is the Peachy uh, Queen palette. Very, very cute. It kind of reminds me of like the Too Faced Peach palette. This right here is available, like on Reddit and stuff. And in here, we are getting mostly mattes, but two satins. It is very affordable from the drugstore. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I think for a drugstore, it's a pretty solid palette and I want to get more use out of this one. This is a quad that I would probably never get rid of. I think it's my it was my first drugstore quad ever. You could see like I went ham on this shade. It's by CoverGirl. Now I, I'm thinking about it. I just would never purchase this. <laughs> the tones and shades are just not for me. But this is all I knew like nine, nine years ago maybe. Um, so yeah, it holds a special place in my heart. I have to keep this for like those um, innocent moments in my life, you know. Next we have the Fruit Sorbet palette here from Violet Voss. I'm going to say goodbye to this one. I really don't like it. We have a Glam Light palette here, the what Miracle palette. And here's what this one looks like on the inside. I think this is okay. Not fully obsessed. I'm going to declutter. Okay, and then I have all of these palettes right here from BH Cosmetics that I purchased in the summer. And I know a lot of you guys are going to kick my, kick my butt for this, but I... Never did a review on any of them, and I haven't really used a bunch of them either. I did use the cotton candy one, and I liked it. The formula is not the best ever, not the easiest to work with, but you could create pretty looks with these, so I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to keep all of them because I still want to get back to my color series, which I know I started, like, what, seven months ago and never continued. But I purchased these also mainly to do those, so I'm going to keep this as well. This is the orange sorbet. We got blueberry gum, which now I'm thinking is very similar to the blue butt blood palette from Jeffree Star, like the same kind of tone, so... We got the blue game on. Next, we have pistachio. So pretty. Keeping. And then we have cherry on top. Also keeping. These palettes from Huda I really don't like. Definitely goodbye. Then I have this palette here from Folly Fire. Here's what the palette looks like on the inside. We get some metallics and mattes. These actually perform pretty nicely. I just never really use it and I'm not crazy about the colors, so I'm going to declutter. Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat is up next. I really love this little one. It was so tried and true to me for such a long time. Now... In regards to the little ones, I usually use like the Natasha Denona little ones because there are matte and metallics in, in those palettes. And here we're only pretty much getting mattes with this one being the satin. I'm still going to keep it because I like it and it's just a baby so I need to have you. I got two more palettes here from Kaleidos. This one right here is called Electro Turquoise. How stunning. I want to keep this one. Then we have this one right here in Sky Fi Green. Heaven. Keeping. Next I have the Berries palette by Julia's Place. I think I had a little bit of a hard time with this one, like blending out the shades. I want to give it a little bit more time though, so I'm going to keep this. Next up, we have the Morphe Artistry palette. This is very pretty. We basically get berry tone and pinky tone shades in here. Um, I do like the quality. It does perform pretty nicely and it looks pretty cute on the eye. But I think I have other palettes that somewhat kind of have the same vibe as this one. So I think I'm going to pass it along to someone who might get more use out of it. 
Then I have these palettes here from Pat McGrath. So we have the subversive palette here. We get five metallics. These are great to kind of swipe on and go with. I'm going to keep great formula. And then we have sublime, which pretty much it's the same thing, but we get neutral shades in here keeping. Okay, and then the final palette that's included in here is from Lime Crime. This is the Venus XL palette. I love this. I've created a bunch of looks with this palette. I think that the tones are everything and I just, I adore it. It's one of my favorites for sure. So I'm going to keep. You know what I just realized? You know how I said I had eyeshadow palettes in those three drawers? I actually have another drawer here. Here's what this drawer looks like. I think I might go through these a little bit quicker without any major explanation. Like if I'm using it, I'll keep it. If I'm not really using it, it's going to be declutter. Okay, so I do have the three trolls palettes here. We have the blue, purple, and neutral one here. I would say for Pure Cosmetics, these are amazing quality. I wish they would make it permanent in their line, but I believe they're limited edition, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all three. I then have the Carly Bible palette here by ABH. I think this was limited edition as well, but I think I'm gonna keep this because when I do makeup on clients, I usually take this with me. It's such a great, just amazing all around bomb palette, so keeping. The Norvina palette is one of my favorites from ABH. You guys can see this is very well loved keeping. Soft Glam is also just one that I use pretty consistently. It's just my favorite, probably neutral palette ever. One of my favorites for sure, yes, keeping. I then have one Pat McGrath palette here, um, one of her larger palettes pretty much. I really, really like this. I wanna probably get a few other palettes that she has to offer, but definitely keeping this, it was so pricey. This is one that I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really not a fan of this packaging. It's really just not for me. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to this Lime Crime palette. The Venus 3 is one that I really do like. I love how these look on the eyes. I've used this so many times, gonna keep. Next up, we have Venus 2, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye, whoopsies, to this one. Even though I do like the formula and everything, I just have a really hard time creating looks just using like this palette. So I'm gonna say goodbye. And then we have the Venus palette here, which kind of reminds you like the ABH Modern Renaissance palette kinda. In a way um, i'm gonna keep this and then i also have the lime crime prelude chroma palette also packaging is not for me the colors are really pretty actually um it's possible like i could find these kind of shades elsewhere in my collection but with this packaging i don't want it i don't want it next up i have the venus xl2 palette here this is gorgeous i feel like these shades are slightly more on the muted side especially when it's put on the eyes i like the xl original one a bit more than this one um i'm thinking one second i think i'm gonna keep it for now i still, still want to play around with it a little bit more i then have this palette right here the venus immortals palette and this right here pretty much just has a bunch of chlorotone shades i'm gonna keep it i haven't got a ton of use out of this yet so i want to like play around with it a little bit more then we have the abh jackie Ina palette as much as i want to keep this and as much as i want to love this i just feel like the tones just don't look the best on me and I like the looks I come up with when I use this. I'm not fully obsessed though, and it's not one that I really gravitate towards a lot, so I'm gonna declutter. Riviera is one that I purchased for the full price tag. I know we found it at TJ for some time. It was limited edition. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. It was cute. It was fun for the time being, but I think I wanna say goodbye. Next, I have the Mini Controversy palette. These shades look so awkward on me. I do not like how it looks on the eyes. Declutter. And then we have the Conspiracy palette here as well, which was found at TJ Maxx's um, out of the US, basically. I made a video on it a few days ago, if you guys missed that. Um, I do like some of the shades in here. I've created pretty cool looks with this one, but thinking about it as a whole, will it be one that I'll just consistently use and love and enjoy? Probably not. It's definitely not one of my favorites from his line at all, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Then I have the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette here. For this one, I did like it. I just felt like it was a little bit too dry. It was also limited edition, and I'm not using it way too much, so declutter. The Sultry will always just have a very special place in my heart. I really enjoy this a ton. It was limited edition, but it is one that I do use a lot on clients um, with the Carly Bible palette, so I'm gonna keep this for that reason mainly, and... Yeah, I just, I can't seem to let it go. It's such a good one. Um, then we have the mini breaker here. This is one of my favorites from his line for sure. This inspires me so much. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Next up, I have this palette here from Iconic London. I think that we got this in BoxyCharm or something. It has great neutral shades, but I don't use it, so declutter. Next up, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette here. This is the original one. I used to use this a ton. Um, part of me doesn't feel like I really need to have it in my life anymore, but I'm thinking I still wanna play around with it just for a little bit just to see if I'm still feeling the vibe of this or I'm ready to kind of uh, declutter it. So for now, I'm gonna keep. This right here is a pixie palette. I love the cool tone shades in here. There's something really beautiful about this and the way this looks on the eyes is just stunning. So I'm gonna keep it. 
Next up, I do have the bigger ABH Norvina eyeshadow palette here. I don't even know why I bought this, to be honest with you. I think it was just like a spur of the moment kind of thing and I felt like I needed to have it in my life. The colors blend out pretty well. I like the other palettes by ABH more than these, I'm thinking. Um, the mattes are a little bit dry and most of them do stain the eyes as well. Um, you know what? I'm just going to say goodbye. It's not one that I really reach for way too much. Next, I have the Escape Pod palette here from Kaleidos. This is so gorgeous. Come on. How beautiful. And I feel like with all the other ones that I decluttered, I kind of have most of that in here kind of thing, you know? So I'm keeping. Then I'm going to keep these three palettes from Kaleidos. So pretty. Um, you could do so much with all of these. They're great to mix and match or great to use on their own. So keeping. Okay, and then finally I have the Nudes Chocolate palette here from Makeup Revolution. It's actually very cute. Rifka recently gifted it to me. So I'm going to keep it in my collection because I haven't had a chance to use it. But hopefully perform as well. Okay, and then finally, I did not forget about this drawer. We have one more drawer to go through. Let's do this. First up, I have the Morphe and James Charles palette here. So this is the Artistry palette, I think is what it's called. I'm going to declutter this, even though you have literally everything in here. It's just massively huge. And in addition to that, I just, if I want to go for a colorful look, I don't reach for this. If I want to go for a neutral look, I just don't reach for this. Um, I'm thinking if you don't have a massive collection, this might be nice because it's like all in one. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pack this along declutter so we have the naked ultraviolet i love you my best friend you're my best friend just like cleo so here's what this looks like i'm keeping then we have the naked honey which was on sale the other day on urban decay's website i don't know if you guys caught that or not but i love this also just so nice um it def definitely leans more towards like the chlorotone side but stunning on the eyes i actually gifted one of those to emma and she's obsessed and then naked cherry i love you just love you you can do so much with this palette, so I'm keeping all of these guys. Next, I have this Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette here. I never really use it, declutter. I have another palette here from Odin's Eye. This is the Freya palette, I want to say. So pretty. Have to play around with it a little bit more, but so far, so good keeping. Next, we have the Maybelline Soda Pop palette, declutter. This was just very mediocre, nothing too special. Goodbye. Another Milani palette. Same story with this one. I felt like the quality was also just very in between and nothing too special for the money, especially. I was like, no way. Uh, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this. We have another Alter Ego palette here in Aurora. This was a dupe for, I think, the Sunset or Sunrise palette from Natasha Denona, Declutter. Next, we have the Makeup Forever Starlit palette. This was limited edition. You get, um, what, two, four, six beautiful, like, thin metallic glittery shades great to sweep on the eye and go with this was limited edition so you can't get it anymore i loved it for the time being but i don't use it so much anymore because it's limited edition so i'm gonna say goodbye my tried and true baby i mean i don't use this way too much now but this was my first high-end palette i ever purchased i think i was 1920 i want to say but i would never get rid of this this hits home for me and it just brings back memories keeping next up i have the tati beauty volume one eyeshadow palette this is one that i also use on clients when i do their makeup um, i use it on myself as well you get a really nice array of colors and i like it keeping this right here is the Too faced palette that came out last year for holiday and ironically i didn't purchase any of the, like the like bigger holiday palettes by Too faced this year yeah this was cute and fun for the time being it was limited edition so leora doesn't use it a bunch now but i think i'm gonna pass it along Next, we have the Blood Sugar Palette here by Jeffree Star. And I think you guys are going to be surprised, but I think I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I really like the quality. His quality is really nice. But with this palette, I felt like it was really lacking metallics. Um, it's mainly just a matte palette with maybe two, three metallic shades thrown in here. It's still a great palette to use on its own, even though there aren't a lot of metallics. And it's great to mix and match with. But um i'm thinking i already have a lot of these redder toned palettes like the urban decay cherry or that bh cosmetics one so i'm gonna say goodbye next we have the morphe and jeffree star palette here this was very like in the middle for me i felt like the quality was just really not on par with morphe or for jeffree star products so i'm gonna say goodbye naked reloaded i need to keep you in my life even though this looks very similar to the sultry palette i love it keeping another naked palette this is the naked heat I love this one as well. One of my favorites for sure. Keeping it. This is the Zoeva Rose Golden Palette. Not 100% my speed. Not something that I'm crazy over. So I'm going to declutter. I used to use this non-stop. This is so good. The Persona shadows are delicious. Keeping for sure. Okay, next we have the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette. As much as I want to keep this, I think I'm just ready to say goodbye. I made a video a few months back. Um... Letting you guys know like what memories I have associated with this. And I just can't seem to make new memories with this one. I'll try to have that video linked down below. But yeah, 
I, I love the quality, great color selection. They did amazing with this one, but I think I'm ready to um, just pass this along to someone who will make bigger and better memories with this. I then have this palette right here. Here's what it looks like on the inside, Declutter. I think I got this in Ipsy or something. This actually came with the holiday palette um, with the Too Faced Bigger palette, basically. We get four glitters, two mattes, Declutter. Next, we have the What's the Tea palette here from The Bomb. I actually really do love the color story, but I'm gonna say goodbye. And then I have the Rust palette here from Melt Cosmetics. I really like this one, let me tell you, keeping. You know, I really wasn't the biggest fan of this Juvia's Face palette. I had a little bit of a hard time creating looks with this. So I think I'm gonna declutter. And then I have the Saharian 2 by Juvia's Place. With this one, I feel like I could definitely do a bit more, much more multifunctional for me, so I'm gonna keep it. We have the Space Case Cosmetics Quad here. This would be a great like one swipe swatch palette. I don't use this declutter. Next, we have the Urban Decay Wired Eyeshadow Palette here. The quality of this just really wasn't on par with a lot of their other palettes. So I think for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye, even though I do think the color story is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to say goodbye. You're so pretty. Goodbye. Next, I have these two palettes here from Wet n Wild. I really enjoyed these when I purchased them maybe about two years ago. Pretty good quality, not bad at all. I like this one a bit more than this one. But at this point, I'm using a lot of the like bite-sized palettes from e.l.f. It's currently what I'm into and I gravitate towards those a lot. So the clutter both. This right here was the second high-end palette that I ever purchased. It still has like the thicker packaging, the chocolate bar palette. It'll also be like forever home, even though I don't use it that much these days, but I think I'm gonna keep it. I then have these two Sephora collection palettes here. We have uh, medium warm and then light warm. Medium warm is my favorite. I've used it so many times. It just works out stunningly for the eye. So I'm gonna keep this for sure. And this I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. Next I have this Oma, is that how you say? Oma? Black Magic palette, really cool packaging. Um, I do love how this performs on the eyes. The shades are just super smooth and creamy. We get mattes and metallics. I'm gonna keep this. And then finally, the last palette that's included in the drawers is this from Pure, this the Festival palette. Not the biggest fan. Yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye. Okay, so here is the aftermath. Here's what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and count everything to give you guys the numbers and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so in total from the drawers, I kept 65 palettes. For the palettes that are not in the drawers, we're gonna do a separate video on just like my palette collection. But yeah, I kept 65. And I'm hoping that this is more than 65, let's see. Yes, so in total, I got rid of 83 palettes. It's pretty good. I'm thinking I could have done a drop better. What are we thinking? Let me know. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely, obviously. I need to know. I always say this, but I do. I need to know how you guys thought I did. Let me know if you think I could have done better, if you think I did amazing. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below, and I will speak to you guys in my next one. Bye.